Many healthcare providers have some anxiety when treating ill or injured children. Fortunately, there is a solution to reduce these concerns. Hi, I'm Jeff Myers, and this is Ralphie, our high fidelity pediatric simulator. We have a unique opportunity here at the Beeling Simulation Center to practice care on a high fidelity pediatric mannequin. Our pediatric mannequin is a 50th percentile five year old and has many unique capabilities. Ralphie can be intubated orally and nasally through his left nair, although you may need to lubricate the airway adjunct with silicon oil prior to any intubation attempt. Please do not use lubricating jelly on any of the mannequins as it is very difficult to clean the airways. A tracheostomy tube can be placed in the pre-scored tracheostomy insertion site. As you can see, his eyes open, blink, and are reactive to light to aid in a neuro exam. When simulating drug administration via endotracheal tube, please use an empty syringe. The passage of liquids into the trachea or esophagus may cause internal damage. When intubating, it is recommended that you use a size 2 Miller blade, a 5.0 millimeter fits best when intubating orally. When placing a nasopharyngeal airway, you can measure the size of the nasopharyngeal airway as per usual routine. When using a laryngeal mask airway, a size 2 or 2.5 two works best. Mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation without a barrier device is not recommended, as it will contaminate the airway. So please treat Ralphie with the same precautions that would be used with a real patient. Ralphie has multiple upper airway sounds synchronized with his breathing. This includes normal airway sounds, inspiratory strider, expiratory strider, or both inspiratory and expiratory strider at the same time. Ralphie also has independent right or left lung sounds, which are synchronized with selectable breathing patterns such as Chris Small's respirations, Shane Stokes' respirations, Biot's, apneistic, apnea, and normal respiratory sounds. Available lung sounds include normal, wheezing, inspiratory squeaks, crackles, rails, strider, and bronchitis. Ralphie can also handle normal CPR procedures and has bilateral O2 saturation sites on his index fingers. Ralphie is equipped with several realistic heart sounds which are related to user-defined heart rate and cardiac rhythm. Intravenous, intramuscular, or sub-Q injections can be performed using only needle set size number 22 or smaller to extend the life of the veins in the skin. IM injections can be administered in both deltoids and quadriceps, and both arms can be used for IV training. Ralphie's conductive skin sites allow for the attachment of real electrodes and defibrillator pads. This feature permits the user to track cardiac rhythms and events with their own equipment, just like with a human patient. Ralphie can be shocked or paced with real energy for cardioversion, defibrillation, or pacing drills. Please keep in mind that it is important to take all precautions when using the defibrillator since it passes real electricity and there is a potential for serious injury. Your AED will display Ralphie's ECG, analyze his cardiac rhythm, and advise action. Ralphie has palpable pulses that are dependent upon his blood pressure. Available pulses include carotid, brachial, radial, and femoral. A manual blood pressure can be obtained bilaterally by placing the cuff around the upper arm with the cuff mark at the medial side of the biceps brachii about an inch or two centimeters above the anterior elbow. Ralphie has an extra port that needs to be connected to the blood pressure cuff before you will get an accurate reading. Once the cuff is placed, and the extra tube is connected to the port on his shoulder, you should be able to get a reading as you would on a real patient. I'm sure you will agree that Ralphie is an amazing piece of technology, but he does have a few limitations. While listening for lung and cardiac sounds, as with all of the mannequins, you will hear mechanical sounds from the pump. So please take time during your orientation to distinguish the mechanical sounds from the heart and lung sounds. Ralphie cannot stand or ambulate on his own, so he will need assistance if he's expected to move. Ralphie does not have a stomach, so please do not administer any oral medications or fluids. You will not get any return from a placed nasogastric or orogastric tube, also because he doesn't have a stomach. Betadine, pens, and markers will permanently stain the skin, so do not use any of these on the mannequins. Avoid using plastic and cloth tape when securing tubing. Please use only fabric tape to prolong the life of his skin. Please remember that he is a plastic mannequin, 
but he still deserves the respect and treatment that you would give to a real patient. I look forward to seeing you in the lab. Thanks for watching.